Hi guys, it's Monica. Yeah, it's me again. Can you believe it? You're going to see two videos in in a row. Um, I'm going to just share with you this big bag of empties that I have. Oh my gosh. So we've been away from home since December 26th. And one of the things that I really wanted to make sure that I had plenty of with sunblock. I have this whole basket of sunblock that we've been using and I've been making Jay use it. So one of the things that I have used up and I threw, I threw um, one half empty sunblock thing that I finished away. But one of the things that I have used up is the e.l.f. This is the um, sun protection. I think it's SPF 45. It's a setting spray. I have used this up completely. So I feel like when I do my sunblock and then I do my makeup and then I use the setting spray, I really feel that it is, that I'm gonna be super protected. So use that up. I really like it. Um, I think that if you are into a, uh, you know, sun protection, finding and using a setting spray that has some sort of uh, protection in it is going to be going to be super good. I have also completely used up, and I usually cut this so I can get everything out of these tubes. But this is the Elf, and this is their um, invisible sunscreen. Sun Touchable, and this is SPF 35. And so I put this on, then I put the setting spray after I have my makeup, my makeup that I've been using. When I've used foundation, I've, I've, I'll tell you the truth, I, I very rarely have been using foundation while I've been away. I, I, I might use a little bit of my Estee Lauder, but very, very little, very little foundation while I've been away. But sun protection absolutely so this has been like super awesome I have also used up and this is peaches and this was peaches sun um, vitamin C so I've used this up I I like it and I think I've been able to use it as much as I've used it and finish this product up because I haven't used any foundation. When I was using this prior at, you know, at home when I was going to work a lot or whatever and I would put my foundation on, my foundation didn't play nice with this. I'm sorry if you're hearing the rain on the RV roof. My foundation didn't play nice with this. But I used it up, that was my goal. I wanted to use up all of the stuff that I've had that I haven't, um, that I haven't, you know, that I have been sitting there. I wanted to use it up. The other thing that I've used up pretty much is this. This is um, skin skinceuticals. Um, this was sent to me quite a while ago. This is their vitamin C plus A folic acid, and this is their hydrating B gel. Um, I should put my glasses on so I can actually see the name of it, right? This is their hydrating B5 gel, moisture enhancing gel enriched with vitamin B5. So I used this up. I used up the SkinCeutical C plus E folic acid, which is, I really like it. It played super nice with my makeup. Again, this was sent to me complimentary. So I finally finished it up. So thank you, thank you so much for SkinCeuticals. I am also have been using, and I still have some in here, is their Hyaluronic Acid Intensifier. This is multifunction serum to help amplify the skin's hyaluronic acid levels. So HA Intensifier. I am using this right now. Uh, it's almost empty. I had, um, it's quite, quite a full bottle, but it's almost empty. I really like it. I have used up, and this is another another story, which I'm not going to get into. But um, then again, some of you will remember when I talked about using this. I have I have a wig on. When I talked about using the then again hair hair um, serum and the shampoos and all that, I really like this a lot for my hair and. Um, the problem is I ran out, and I thought that 
I was going to get another bottle sent to me from um, from Kendra, and I and I didn't, and so that doesn't much matter. But I was leery about ordering this on Amazon, so I figured I'll just wait till I get home and see what I can do if I can find it, because I just didn't want to order it from Amazon. I like this serum a lot. I would put it in and you know put it in my bio hair, and it really seemed to help with my hair. Now my hair, my bio hair, is pretty well all gray because I haven't gone to the hairdressers. I went to a hairdresser down here once and she cut all she cut my hair really short, which is fine because I needed to have it cut. But I didn't want her she was like talking about dyeing this and dying and I just didn't want to have that done because I was leery about how it would how it would come out, you know? So I figured, well, you know what? I have wigs, I have toppers. I can just, you know, go with my bio hair. So I ended up just putting hats on the whole time I was here. And um, and I hardly ever wore a wig. I, ha I did wear a topper on occasions when I went out, but I hardly ever wore any kind of wig, did any kind of hair things at all. I just put ball caps on or straw hats on and I hit the beach and hit the walking trails and you know did and we started swimming every night here in the pool. We, there's a heated pool here in the complex and it's like oh my gosh I'm going to miss that when I go home. I'm going to have to look and see about a Y membership or something like that with a pool because I think it's really helped Jay uh, move his body with all of the different issues that he was having with the hip replacement and, and all of that and his arthritis. So that's been super, super good. But this is then again, I think this is this whole hair. I still have the shampoo and the conditioner because I don't use it that often. But this whole hair system, I think has really um, is really good. And when I get back home, I'm going to see about getting some more of this somehow. I, I've also been using the um, prescription, oh my gosh, can you hear the rain? And it is the, um, it's sort of like the oral Rogaine, right? It's the little pill that you take, it's a little blue pill, it costs like 10 bucks a month, roughly, if that. And I've been taking that every day. So I think my bio hair has, has improved. And, and I don't want to show it to you because all you're going to see is gray. But I think my bio hair has improved a lot. So uh, we'll see when I go back and I go to my hairdresser and she plays around with it and she maybe colors the gray because I'm not, I'm not ready to go gray. And it's sort of like a slate gray. And you, the one thing that was kind of really cool because the way my hairdresser would dye my hair, not dye my hair, but she would um, highlight it. She, it took always a long time, but she took little tiny strands of hair. And even when I came to the lady that cut my hair, the hairdresser down here, she said, whoever did your hair, there's no, there's no lines. You can't see any, any growth lines because it just all blends in. Your gray is part of it silver, part of it is gray, it blends in with those blondes. So maybe that's all I need is a little bit more blonde highlights and then I'll just leave the rest be. I don't know. But anyways, I this this I really like and I'm going to have to try to get myself um, get some more of it. I did bring a couple of e.l.f. eyebrow pencils. Thank goodness because I went through one of them. You can, you notice I've been a lot of e.l.f. I bought um, a number of their lip glosses. I also bought one of their new blushes. I love that blush a lot. Um, I just think it's really cool. But anyway, so what I've been doing here, I started to exercise more, swim, walk, stay healthy, try to stay healthy. I have ordered a bunch of Built Bars. I had a big box of Built Bars delivered when I was in St. Augustine. And I love the puffs, so if I really need a snack, it's going to be fruit or it's going to be one of those. But just kind of like, you know, enjoying life going through some products, taking care of my skin, and just trying to work on diet and health and exercise and, and stuff like that. So, yeah. I have lost um, a little bit of weight since I've been away. Not very much, though. But I think what I've done is probably lost more inches. So, anyways, I'm going to end this. I just wanted to share these empties. I want to be able to throw them out so I don't have to worry about them. 
and um, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.